another Cinema 40 tutorial from Fireside Media. If you like, subscribe. Today we're going to talk about bump, normal, and displacement mapping. So here we have our object and uh, we've added a specular map so we can see what's happening. Let's click render. Now you see the specular map is disregarding all of these cracks. It is just uh, the texture is just painted on this object. That is all that is happening. We don't see any depth or anything. So let's add a bump map. Let's just copy this channel, place it in the bump texture. That looks good. All right, let's render that. Now we see a bit more happening here. We see it bumping in a little bit with the specular but you see along this crack it doesn't go in very much uh, our shadows aren't even doing anything in this so it's still quite flat now if we took this and copied it to our displacement map a lot of stuff would happen but it would be pretty unpredictable so let's turn our bump map off and render again oh that's pretty <laughs> unpredictable okay let's pump this up a little bit see what happens not much is happening at all. Okay, let's take this off. Okay, so let's try this program called Crazy Bump. Crazy Bump takes your image and does a bunch of algorithms. Uh, let's select the photo. Does a bunch of algorithms to make it um, to create a normal map out of your image that looks quite. It looks quite believable. It's very passable. Let's open it. And this is this is a uh, product that you have to purchase, but there is a trial period that you can test it for 30 days. All right, here's we open our thing. We can see here, we can kind of test our texture before we save it. So you see it's bumping out here. We see the specular hitting here, and and inside of the caverns, it is not specular. And we see how we move and these get smaller over here and creating depth so let's add some more fine detail and you kind of just fine-tune your your uh, image here and depending on the subject material okay let's heighten this creates a more realistic you can do larger detail or, or smaller detail noise removal sharpen I like sharpen And um, once you once you like it, just right click here, click Save to nor Normal to File. Let's just put it there, name it whatever you want, and let's go to Displacement. So Displacement create actually moves your um, polygons out, so it the the surface around the edges is also bumped out, not just in the center. So let's let's enhance the detail. And then, if once we like this, save this out. We can do occlusion here. We can do specularity and diffusion, and just tweak it, and then right-click, save it out, and you've got your normal map. You got your displacement map. Any any map. Now let's go back to Cinema 4D. Go to our normal file. Make sure we discontinue this. <laughs> Now click normal, open your normal map, nope, and click um, whatever, MIP off. Now let's render. Now you can see a lot more is happening here. We see the edges are, go. Oh, let's, let's just pump up the quality here, shall we? Anti-lacing, let's put this to best, 2-2. Two, two. So you see a lot more is happening in here. In the caverns, it's not non-specular. It looks like it's going in, but around our edges, we have it's the same sphere here. We just the only thing that is changing is inside our texture. So let's go down to displacement map, and under texture, we'll add our displacement map. Click no again, map off, height. All all this height is uh how how 
much displacement is actually happening to our texture. Now let's render. And you see along these edges, a little bit is starting to happen. Um, we have to tweak this a bit. Let's just go overboard. So, um, along these cracks now, it is actually being displaced inward. And you can come in here, um, add sub polygon displacement, and this makes it so that um, it, it takes longer to render, but it it makes it creates smaller polygons inside of your polygons that displace the the map. So I'm going to set this pretty high. See what happens. Let's keep adding. And depending on how many polygons here, it will divide even more. And so you got to be careful. Don't put too high of a number. You may crash your computer. So you can see here with this orange light, it's not being placed on this, it's being placed up here. So we definitely have some definition happening to this image. And it creates something that looks a lot more believable. And and is more um, is more ready for a final render. So there you have it. That's displacement more normal and dis uh, ah, normal displacement and bump mapping. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe.